Everything that could go wrong went wrong. I cry a little bit, so you definitely want to stay tuned. This is what's going on right now. Woke up this morning, my car is completely dead. Yesterday, I took it to the shop for them to change the bulb. And I don't know what happened, y'all. I'm not a car person. So we're just waiting for roadside assistant to get here. We're going to be late for closing. The devil is working hard this morning, so I rebuke him. After all of the rain, the sun finally come up. Thank you, Lord. Hey guys, I needed to come to a stop to kind of give you guys an update. So closing today, I feel like everything that could go wrong this morning went wrong, but we still move we move but yeah so closing was super quick it was just a matter of signing a whole bunch of papers the last thing i get you is a, a set of initials right there just confirming that you're going to be getting the four house keys and three mailbox keys and that is it so congratulations thank you mailbox keys it was super quick we went through that and before you know it i have my keys after closing, I went to the house, took a moment and took everything in. I cried a little bit. And then after that, I took a nap. I did not sleep last night and this morning was just too much. So I was exhausted. I took a 30 minute nap upstairs on the carpet. Initially, my plan was to do a empty house tour for you guys today after closing, but I needed to go back to the dealership because on my way to closing, my engine light came on and I wasn't about to play with them like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm off today. Let me take care of that. And I would do the empty house tour on a later time. It was a long day, but we got through it and I got my keys. Now I can do whatever I want. Well, I can do what I want and I even brought Miss Tasha out for this occasion. She was laid this morning. She was laid. Between the rain and everything else, sis look tired right now. She looks tired. I'm not moving into the house for a few weeks. I think once I move in and I spend my first night, that's when it's going to hit me. Like, you can't be hopping around from country to country. Now you got to stay put. Yeah. That was pretty much my day. I appreciate you guys so much for following me on this journey. And I'm so glad we're finally at the end of it. Definitely stay tuned. There's more to come because I'm going to turn that house from a builder grade. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. the entryway i love how bright and open this space is in this area what i'm thinking is add an entry table between these two outlets and then add some paneling to the wall something simple i really like how the stairs are kind of tucked away you're not greeted by the stairs when you come into the house on this side of the entryway is the formal dining room i don't need a formal dining room so i will be turning this into my office i think that will be a better use of space and i also really like how bright it is in here i decided not to upgrade the floors with the builder because i did not like the options that they were offering and it was kind of expensive i just went with the standard option which happened to be carpet but i do have plans to change the floors downstairs to hard floors off of the dining room, we have this area right here, which is the butler pantry, and it has additional cabinets. This is going to be my drink station. So I wanna make one side of this a wine fridge and then remove these cabinets and make it like an open shelf. This cutting board was a gift that I received from the supplier that did my countertop. It is all quartz, super heavy. It was what broke my sink. So I have a love hate relationship with it. Across from the butler pantry, is the pantry i think this is a pretty good size pantry maybe someday when i have kids then having a bigger pantry would be something that i want but this is more than enough and in here i have sample of my trim and wall paint 
and some documents that came with the house. I also ordered some stuff from Amazon and I got my tool set. I could not wait to get my hands on some power tools. That was the first thing I did when I closed on the house. I went and got me power tools. So coming into the kitchen, there has been a lot of changes in this kitchen. The countertops were one of the biggest upgrades that I did after closing. I am obsessed with how big these drawers are. I am definitely not gonna run out of storage in this kitchen. And these are 42 inch cabinets. I don't know who gonna reach up there to put stuff up there, but oh well. Also, the house did come with Frigidaire microwave, range stove, and dishwasher. I have already replaced the stove and the dishwasher. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this area yet. I'm kind of thinking maybe remove this and just make this a range or keep the microwave and just change it to mash the stove. I don't know yet. So we're still trying to figure that out, but that is why I still have the microwave that came with the house on here and on on this side of the kitchen, you have the island. I still need to change out these light fixture. In fact, I need to change the light fixture in the entire house. But pretty much all of this was an upgrade. I upgraded the sink. I have had a lot of issue with this sink. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know the story behind the sink and what I had to go through. I also changed the faucet. On this side, I have the fridge and then this little area right here. Something that is really annoying me, I'm thinking about returning the fridge. When I bought this fridge, the house wasn't even built yet. So once they deliver the fridge, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't like the space up there and the side is kind of sticking out I don't like that so I think I'm going to return this and get a counter depth fridge I love the fridge I just don't like how it is like sticking out like that I don't like that we have a closet right here y'all excuse all of my mess in there I kind of been working from here on this side is the main living area. We have carpet in the living room. I actually do like the carpet, but maintaining a carpet on the main floor, it's a lot of work. I feel bad for ripping it out because it's actually a really nice carpet. This right here is going to be the dining area right off of the kitchen. What's on your face on now? Must be nice. Anyways, so this is the living room. I did not do any upgrade in this living area. The builder did have an option to do a fireplace on this wall. I opted out of that because I wanted to get a electric fireplace. And on this wall, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I definitely want to do something fun on this wall. This is definitely going to be changed to a ceiling fan because we're in the south it get really humid you need some type of circulation so i'm going to be changing that to a ceiling fan the only upgrade that i did in this living room area i added these um what are these lights called recess light that was the only upgrade that i did in this living room and then moving on to the guest bedroom downstairs This is the closet for this guest bedroom. It's a decent sized closet. It's not that big, so you don't have to stay too long. This door leads to the bathroom downstairs. It is a full bath. This is another upgrade that I did. The builder only had round sinks as an option. So once I close, I changed the sink, the countertop to this quartz countertop, and also the faucet was another upgrade. How cute is that? I love the gold tone on this faucet. It's not too much gold, it's just enough, you know? 
In here, I'm going to be changing out the light fixture. I also have plans to replace the mirror with something a little bit more interesting. Maybe do like a round mirror on here. I think that would be cute. Another thing that I wanna do in here is to change the color of the cabinet. Just to make this space look a little bit more extra because right now everything just look white. I actually really like the shower. I think it's a pretty nice shower. I have no plans to change it. Maybe in the future, I might change this to like a frameless glass door, but for now, I think it would do. And coming out of the guest bathroom, you have this area, depending on where you're from. Some people call it valet, some people call it mud room, some people call it catch it all. I don't know, but it is pretty much an entrance from the garage, which is this door right here. And the builder did have an option to add a built-in in this area, but I opted out of that because right now I don't need it but if I do need it that's something I feel like I can build in the future so coming out here this is the garage it is a two car garage as you can see how bright it is in here the lights are not even on and it's super bright it was an upgrade to add the inserts in the garage door I really wanted more light to be in here for this reason. I don't wanna come in the garage and have to turn on the light. So it's pretty bright and it's big because my car is not even all the way on the other side. There's still room on that side. Do some shelving in here, just get it organized. I also wanna do like a home gym type of thing on this side because that's the only car that's gonna be in this garage. So I have enough space to do other things over here but that is the garage let's go upstairs the railing is one of the upgrades that i got upstairs um that's the doorbell <laughs> but i'm so glad i got this upgraded rather than having drywall i feel like this made such a difference opening up this space up here it was an expensive upgrade but very much worth it off of the stairs is the loft this is so big it's the exact same size as the living room downstairs i upgraded all of the lights in the room and the living rooms to be wired for ceiling fans so I will be changing that as well to a ceiling fan. I like the fact that there's windows up here and that's the backyard, which I didn't show you guys. I upgraded to have the large cement pad. Moving on to this side of the house, this is guest room number one. It is the same layout as the room downstairs with the closet in here. This door right here leads to the guest bathroom up here. And then this door leads back to the main area. This is the guest bathroom up here. It's like a Jack and Jill situation going on. I did upgrade the countertop in this bathroom. I just went ahead and got the upgrade with the builder because I had no plans to changing anything in this bathroom. Another upgrade that I did in this bathroom was to add the picture window up there. That was money well spent because I just like how it brightened up this bathroom. I don't have to turn the light on to be in this bathroom. You can actually save energy. Again, the shaker style cabinets from the kitchen carry on into to all of the bathrooms and I shouldn't be showing you guys the inside of that toilet that's rude this door leads to guest room number three same size same layout nothing extra coming out of this room right here we have a linen closet in this hall the size is really good I have no plans to make this look any fancy this would do and on this side of the closet is the laundry room. It's a really big size laundry room. My washer and dryer was delivered a couple of days ago. I upgraded the floors in here as well to tile. Um, these are window screens that I still need to put up. And into the owner suite. Ooh, look at all that light. This is the owner suite. 
it is very bright in here y'all right here is a sitting area it's about the same size as a bedroom pretty much but it is considered the sitting area off of the master and there is a window right here that let a lot of natural light in here this is where I'm going to be doing my sit down videos it is going to be all about the aesthetic in this room I do want to change that to a chandelier bring in a couch do something with the wall maybe put a desk or like a vanity over here but it's going to be giving okay one of the upgrade that I did was to add a tray ceiling in this room I like to sleep with a ceiling fan so that would be changed out to a ceiling fan into the bathroom I need to figure out a place to put that because this is not it into the owner suite bathroom I also upgraded the countertop the sink I'm still waiting on my faucets to come in I will be changing out the light fixture in here I am thinking about also also painting these cabinets a different color on this side of the bathroom I have my tub on this side of the tub is the shower I do like the shower I want to change this to a frameless glass door I'm not too crazy about the tile and all the grout line but I can definitely live with it but I want to replace the shower head and just make life a little bit easier. I still need to figure out how I'm going to add some privacy to this window because it is huge and it bring in a lot of natural light in here, which is something that I love, but I need privacy. And then right here is the linen closet in this bathroom. It's a really big size closet. And on this side, we have the water closet or the toilet room and I upgraded to adding a window in here because why not and the window can be open if you need to and then this right here this is the walk-in closet this is what it looks like and there are some shelving on this side and on this side so this is the his and the hers closet I really don't have any plan for the closet right now yeah it is what it is this is the house okay guys that is it for the house tour thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me it has been a process <laughs> i'm in my house i do not take how blessed i am for granted i'm so grateful to be living in this house and i really appreciate you guys for all of the encouragement the um positive comments and definitely stay tuned because i do have a lot of house related content coming your way i have a lot of upgrades that i still want to do in the house so i'll be sharing all of that with you guys but for now i am going to just focus on trying to fill this house i am not in no rush but we need a couch we need some stuff in the house so yeah that is pretty much it for this video and i will talk to you guys later thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye